was reading some interviews and they said there's a lot of they, they don't really talk about diseases that much but they said pretty much all the porn stars they all have herpes every last one of them got herpes they all got worse so if you in the porn industry you have some kind of disease okay and you ain't escaping it if you sharing one bitch it's five niggas with one woman Oh, there's something down to pop off being anyway. Don't ass niggas. I, they say like, I guarantee you, way over half the women out here got uh, herpes or warts or something. Yeah. At least some goddamn herpes. Yeah. That's right. Behold. Well, like we said that the CDC said that the Center of Disease and Control said over half the United States population, men and women have S some kind of STD, some kind of damn disease. That's why the Lord in the New Testament called you a bunch of, a generation of adulterers. When did he say that? Uh, and that was the vipers. Lord who said that. Yeah, he said, yeah, adulterers, you generation of vipers. Yeah. Yeah. A generation of adulterers and adulteresses. I'm gonna get it, I thought we finished reading this one. That's why he said it's gonna be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah on that day for y'all motherfuckers. Damn. Man. And that was the they was the king of faggots and the king of adultery and the king of, of the hoarders. Yeah. Yeah. This is worse than that. That's right. Solomon Gomorrah was terrible. Behold, this have I found, said the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man coming, in, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those. Have I not found? So the Lord, so the Lord said, out, out of uh, one out of a thousand people we talk to is going to understand this truth, all right? But and not, not a single damn woman is going to understand anything, because the truth is not made for a woman, okay? So we're not out here looking to wake up women, okay? The women, they just going, they just going to stay lost. Because a woman is kind of like a child, all right? They, they need to be. Be supervised. A woman's property, and it's not a woman's job to be coming out here teaching. This is a man's job. You ain't never gonna see women come out here and do this. We need to turn this world back into a man's world, a godly world. Yep. And these women be living in fear every day, don't they? Oh, like we, mm -hmm. like we was talking uh, over there in Russia. You had that uh, punk rock group. Pussy riot. Yeah, I heard about that. They got a whooping. They got a whooping. Yeah, yeah. They was out there uh, acting disobedient in public, acting like some goddamn whores. <laughs> and, and the Russian cops came through with some whips and started whooping them bitches. At first, they came up, sprayed that bitch with some pepper spray. Hey, they beat the cameraman too. Yeah, they beat. He looked like a big faggot. <laughs> yeah, 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 They beat the yeah. shit out of them hoes. Yeah, right. Right. Russia going around being them faggots and putting them on on the internet. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that, yeah that's what. Yeah. So, yeah. if America was really a godly nation, if <laughs> cops seen us some faggots, they come up to start beating, like knock that faggot shit off and start beating them. Uh, like they seen a woman running her mouth on the out in public. And bitch, you, you whack, you hit that bitch, smack the yeah. shit out of that hoe, yeah. man. Yeah. And all this is gonna happen when the Lord gives us that power. Yeah, he should yeah. do that even to these little bastard little children. Yeah. Kill them, motherfuckers. That's what kills me. Just kill them. It's always like, ah, uh, you put your hands on me. But when the shit hit the fan, they're gonna be getting stomped the fuck out. <laughs> you worrying about somebody putting your But they soft as hell, bro. They soft as hell. They ain't got no death penalty, Harley. They hardly kill anybody on death row. Here it is, a motherfucker could rape children, rape a thousand children, and molest, a, molest all these people, be a serial killer, and they get to live in prison for 20 years, 30 yeah. years. Well, some of them they just use for mental research. They oh, do they research do research on them, don't they? Yeah. You're right. Find out why they so wicked. They probably is reasons why they keep them to the devil. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody like that, you're just supposed to kill, man. A child molester? You're supposed to kill that motherfucker. You ain't supposed to tell 20 years. You Same. killed that motherfucker, Same man. Money, man. An adulterer and adulteress? You're supposed to kill an adulterer and adulteress, man. Both of them. Both of them is, shall surely be put to death. I know negotiating, not being paid off. But kill here, but actually in America, if a woman yeah. commit adultery in America, she gets rewarded with child support. They give her food stamps, Section 8 house. You know America is the kingdom of Satan? You know speak English? You motherfucking goops. 
look like they look like inspector the Chinese inspector gadget. Just looking all stupid. Look at that big goop look on his face. You got you got goddamn Chinese motherfuckers everywhere. The land of the heathens. Right. Lo, this only have I found that the most high hath made men upright, but they have sought out many inventions. They they go whoring after their own inventions. Right, make it up out, make it up freaky shit. Here we go. I got, I got Just making too. up freaking shit. Jerry. They, 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 this is that do as thou wilt society. This is that Alistair Crowley Church of Satan society. That's what this shit is. Hey, really, everybody's devil worshippers. Y'all worship Satan. Okay? Whether you know it or don't. Yeah, whether you know it or not, you worship the devil. Okay? Well, now they know. Because America's the kingdom of Satan. It's the land where a woman can be a whore, commit adultery. Kill her baby, have an abortion, and get rewarded. And then the man will have to pay. She could go kill your baby in an abortion, and then divorce your ass, and then take all your money. Now abortion is a grizzly, grizzly, uh, yeah. that's his grizzly, man. Hey, you should be allowed to kill a bitch if she kills your baby. If a woman kills your baby, if you get a woman pregnant and she gets an abortion, you should, you actually, you, you, uh, if you kill that bitch, you, uh, you have done nothing wrong on that side of the most high. You know what I'm saying? You protecting life, your own seed. Right. That's a murder. I don't care how you look at it. When you reach the side of a woman and chopping a little baby up into pieces, you, you ain't gonna sit and try to justify that shit. That really happens, man. That really fucking happens. Chopping babies up into bitches' pussies. Yeah, like so them crazy people who, who lose their mind and blow up abortion clinics, really what they did is a good thing. Actually, here you go. This is Matthew, St. Matthew 16 and 4. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. Yeah, see, the Lord called y'all a wicked and adulterous generation. <laughs> okay, he's not speaking nice to you. So, oh, Jesus is all love. You guys sound so hateful. I mm -hmm. right, read that again. A, a wicked, a wicked. An adulterous generation. So how, how are you supposed to talk? What kind of language are you supposed to use when you're talking to a wicked and adulterous generation? What kind of language are you supposed to speak? You're supposed to speak rough. You're supposed to curse these damn demons out. The only language they can identify with. Uh, no. Yep. You're talking to them sweet and calm. And oh, I got, I got, I got a scripture for the sweet words. Right. I got a scripture for that. You finish reading this. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And that was a sign of destruction. Oh, here. I got a scripture for that. What they say, the sweet, soft words? I got some more to Lord Paul. Here you go. This is St. Matthew, Matthews. Um, 12 and 34. I'm a third sorry, 33. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by its fruit. O generation of vipers, how can ye be evil? Speak good things. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. Yep, you know. A wicked, that, a wicked society. All that bullshit, they be, every, yep. everything that come out of their mouth is still. Yep, a wicked society. They can't say anything God with you. They got nothing love, not love, godly about it. Love everyone. It's all peace and love. What kind of, that ain't godly. Ain't nothing godly about that shit. I got a scripture for you on them soft words. Uh, this is 1 Thessalonians 2 and 1. Uh, for yourselves, brethren, know our entrance in unto you that it was not in vain. But even after that, we had suffered before and were shamefully entreated, as you know, of Philippi. We were bold in our God to speak unto you the gospel of God with much contention. Uh, First Thessalonians. So we speak in, in bold boldness with much contention. What does contention mean? When you contend, that's you right. You fight. That's, that's coming up. Man. That's you fighting. You know. But in this case, we spiritual men. We we in a spiritual fight. Yep. You know. It's a, it's all spiritual. It's Ain't nothing physical about it. For our exhortation was not of deceit, 
So we ain't out here lying to you. We ain't, you know, we ain't out here teaching lies. We ain't teaching bullshit. For our exhortation was not of deceit, nor of uncleanliness, nor in guile. But as we were allowed of God to be put in trust with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God which trieth our hearts. Yeah, we can care less if you like this or not. What yeah, we're we ain't out here to please you fools, man. Right. We don't, fools. Yeah, we don't give a damn if what we say hurts your feelings. Right. Or, or we offend somebody. The scriptures say, blesses he who is not offended. Right. But here's the point right here. It said, for neither at any times use, used we flattering words. You see that? Neither at any time you use we flattering words. So we ain't out here to speak flattering, soft, sweet words to you. Trying to seduce you. You know what I mean? Like that's what them pre that's what them preachers do. That's what God that's what goddamn Barack Obama does. And all these other politicians. They get up there and speak all them soft, sweet words, tell you all that bullshit. Just like them women we was talking about. That's how these women get your ass. Talking about you guys are too hateful. You need to talk to have more love. It said, neither at any time use we flattering words, as ye know, nor a cloak of covetousness. God is witness. And that's the point on that. This is Ephesians of 6 and 10, 19. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly. So that, that's what we did. One scripture just said, right. we out here bold in the spirit. We out here in public, out here in the spirit, bold as can be, bold as lions, teaching the truth. We, we, the shit any yeah, yeah, we ain't scared of none of these people, man. Right. We, we, gonna, we gonna come out here and teach this word, whether these people here or forbear. Keep going. <laughs> um, I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Cause you supposed to speak boldly. You ain't supposed to be coming out here all soft and sweet. Tell my Jesus loves you, this I know. Come out here with acoustic guitars and shit. You know, you do faggot Christians, they walk down the street with an acoustic guitar singing songs. <laughs> And they don't know any scriptures. You give them a basic Bible quiz and they fail it every time. They, they don't know basic shit. They just talk, say, love Jesus. I mean, some basic shit. Who the Lord come to save? They don't, yeah, they don't even know nothing, man. Basic shit. I can you not know when it's all through the Bible? Israel, 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 Israel. Israel, Israel. Hey, Israel's the Lord's people. <laughs> oh, like, we had that faggot, that, that big doofus that was out here earlier. He asked him if he was an Israelite, he said no. Yeah. Well, if you ain't an Israelite, I guess that means... <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's the Danny DeVito's older cousin. Danny DeVito went like three foot tall. He's a big, that's a weird motherfucker right there. The Lord let shit his ass out. He, he got shitted out when he was born. He's a defect. Just like just like that movie he was in with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And they said he was he was made in the leftovers. Junior. Was it not Junior? Was it Junior? No, twins. Yeah, twins. Is it said he, he was made from the leftovers? Yeah. He looked like he was made from the leftovers. Oh yeah, Junior was that shit when he was pregnant. Oh, that's awful, man. That's some faggot shit. <laughs> These people are some, y'all in some trouble, boy. Yeah, y'all in deep this shit. shit. This nation is in trouble. Hey, the black woman in trouble too. That's yeah. over you. This is like Condoleezza Rice. Condoleezza. Blonde hair. Dark, black as fuck. This got blonde hair. You know that's a goddamn wig. Bitch probably bald headed. Well, she bald. She got about five, about 20 different wigs at home. Extensions, all that. Lord ain't gonna have no mercy on these fools either. It's getting so bad, even white bitches getting extensions now. You know? It's just because they want to be like the black woman. Yep. Yeah. gonna make no goddamn sense. Here you go. Uh, second Ezra's 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as concerning the token, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number, 
and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren in faith, of faith. Right, there ain't a whole lot of faith out here right now. Ain't nobody out here teaching no truth, talking truth. You can't trust none of these people. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. Right, you can't leave your door unlocked. If you leave your house, you can't leave your door unlocked. Let me see you leave your wallet somewhere. And in that, nobody's gonna give it back to you. You can't trust none of these people are a bunch of evil motherfuckers, man. There's not a number of wickedness flourishes out here. Right. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. And the land that thou seest now to have root, shall thou see wasted suddenly. So uh, America's going to be wasted, okay? Soon when this destruction comes, America's going to be destroyed by a thermonuclear fire. It ain't going to be no more goddamn America. Mm. It's just going to be a desert wasteland. That's right. You clap your hands on that one. <laughs> clap your hands on that one. For real. Ain't For nobody real. Cla nobody's clapping. Yeah. <laughs> nobody's clapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh snap! Yeah, they don't have it. They ain't happy to hear about that. They don't know they don't want to hear that. And the land that thou seest now to have root shall be seen wasted suddenly. But if the Most High grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night and the moon twice in the day. And blood shall drop out of the wood. And the stone shall give her his voice and the people shall be troubled. And even he shall rule, whom they look not for that dwell upon the earth, and the fowls that shall take their flight away together. And the Sodomish sea Ooh. shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be often sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mischievous women shall bring forth monsters. You say the wild beasts shall change their places? Yep. We got wild lions and shit running around on the streets out here. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Out here in fucking Ohio, right? Columbus. They've been sightings all right about wild animals. I'm done. I'm done. Look oh, at that. Fuck, I'm done. I'm done. They gone. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers out here is gone, man. They did. Tight ass pants sagging, some tight ass pants. Tight ass pants sagging. They ain't even long enough to go all the way up. They too goddamn tight to even sag. You had to make it sag. What the fuck? It's amazing. You had to make it sag. Hey, come on. The motherfuckers ain't going. Maybe they did put the motherfuckers all the way up to be like leggings. Well, they do that because they want, they want, uh, leggings, they want other men yeah. to see their ass so that. The other men look at that, they want to fuck him in the ass. Now, I don't know how another man can look at another man's ass. Like your boy from Duck Dynasty. He said he found a woman's vagina much more desirable than a man's anus. <laughs> they fired his ass that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, they man. already back though. Oh yeah. Yeah, like they a week later. Money off that food, man. Yeah, he back. probably done did some gay shit. He, yeah, he said he found it more desirable because he done had a man's anus. That's how he got a show. That's yep. how he knew what yep. it felt like. That's why I knew the difference, right? That's right. That's how he knew. Yeah. It's a foul ass society, boy. It's foul. I mean, what more wickedness can indulge in this place? Like, I mean, what more wickedness can like, uh, I mean, I, I'm already thinking to myself that this only has a set of peace. You would think that would it? It's worse. It's yeah. gonna get worse and worse. You gonna see more every by the day. Every day you see more and more faggots. You see more bitches. It, it's not getting better. It's getting worse. They're not gonna be happy until everyone's a faggot. Right. Everybody. It's 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 the law not to. They're not gonna be happy until yeah, yeah. pedophilia is legal. Yeah. No, right, there, there's right. already people uh, putting up signs and saying it, it's uh, pedophilia is okay as long as uh, there's no abuse involved. You can't both uh, both parties yeah. consent. And they both consent. Yeah, yeah. They're, They're pushing that heavy, man. Man, what's been going on? What's that man boy? Yep. Lovers Association, man below, whatever, whatever it's called, what's been going on? Oh, uh, it just came out in the news, uh, the Buckeyes, some kind of Buckeye Boys Club here in Columbus. It's like some kind of, kind of like the Boys Club. And there's all kind of little boys just came out getting raped up in there. Damn. And all 
twice we didn't know. Yeah, we already we've been told y'all that. Yep. Just like all the Boys Club, the, a lot of the Boy Scout masters raping the Boy Scouts, the Catholic uh, priests they raping the little children. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody knows about the Catholic Church, but y'all still go to the Catholic Church. Yeah, we'll go about that. Yeah, uh, that's why all you stupid ass Mexicans, you stupid dumb ass Dominicans, South Americans, all you Latinos, you, you, you dumb as hell, man. You Latinos, here it is, the Catholic Church gonna rape so many children, you can't even count them all, and you still calling yourself a goddamn Catholic. And every time you see the Pope, the bitches will start crying. Like, he touched me! Oh, oh, Mios Dios! And that son of a bitch going in slavery his damn self. Yeah, yeah, you think the Pope is holy, calling him the Holy Father. Here it is, that, first of all, the Catholic priests are not even allowed to get married. Where's that at in the scripture? Where, where, that's some homosexual shit. Where in the Bible does it say that a man is not allowed to have a woman? And no, that's the, the proper thing is that a man should have a woman. That's right. Now, I can understand some men, they be bold in the spirit, all they care about is studying. They ain't even got time for a woman. But you ain't supposed to put rules on people, put put making up new laws and new rules saying someone can't have sex. Right, That's right. some faggot shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's only something a faggot would do. And, and then on top of that, they make all the Catholic priests shave their beards off. Every last Catholic priest you see has a clean shaven face. And they make them do that. When the Bible says that you have to grow your beard. All right, the one you call Jesus, he had a beard. Moses had a beard. Okay. Are y'all going to Comic Con? Ethiopia? Star Wars convention in town? They had some fat asses on them. Yeah, they might be thick. Who knows? They had some funny looking They didn't hold them. They got to look at them teeth. They got to look at them teeth when they been over. You know? They're ready to just dump kids. Yeah, bitch got horse teeth. Got donkey teeth. Yeah, them, them heathens, them Hamites, Somalis, and Ethiopians. They be having the most fucked up teeth I've ever seen, man. I ain't got perfect teeth, but them motherfuckers got... I mean, the teeth be this goddamn long. Look like beaver teeth or something. Some buck tooth beaver. I ain't got my fucking dad That's a... That shit ain't safe. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of last night. I ate this shit. I was like, man, that's fucked up. All this food is poison. It's starting to rain. What was you about to green? Need an umbrella to take? Oh, I was, I was about to resell if you uh, I was about to get some. Hopefully, it don't fucking start raining. Are you held it up on the course? Oh yeah, the most high held it back. It was supposed to have been pulled down right now. I always can tell it's all real. I look at like the street lights. A heathen just helped preserve the scriptures. <laughs> that's, that's a good Samaritan right there. Probably an Israelite. He was a Muslim, a Muslim. Down yeah, with Snoop Dogg and, and shit. And, uh, uh, three. Doesn't matter. Three. And. I'll just read three of them. Three and five. Start at five. Revelation three and five. Oh, he got He that. Oh, yeah, go ahead. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before the Father and before his angels. So yeah, that's talking about he that overcometh. I mean, you, you you don't fall out the truth. You keep pushing the truth till you till the day you drop dead, or until the Lord comes back. 
Yeah, you know I mean? like every day, feel like I'm gonna drop there and something's gonna happen, man. Oh, yeah, problems I got with my that's what it means to overcome us. It don't mean to come out and teach us for like two weeks and then stop and then disappear. Right, right, right. You ain't gonna. Oh shit! Gonna what make the it. fuck oh, is that? Get that on camera. Yeah, what is that? It's what? There's a dove. <laughs> you see that? That's a dove. They coming back. They coming back? I never seen that. That was an omen. That was an omen right there. I, I ain't never, never seen no dove. I uh, know I have a dove to see my land. What a dove represents peace. And you, that's why you back me up and to make a peace offering with a dove. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. They, I think that's the Lord's favorite part. directly over yeah. for us, too. They flew directly over. Oh, yeah. It's a big sky. That was crazy. We just see some dove, some white doves. Is that what that was? Doves? It had to be. Yeah, there, there was like snow white. Yeah, I never seen those. Snow white. You never even seen them birds around here. They could have been some mutated birds. I ain't never seen that. I don't know. That was crazy. That's yeah, that just, was kind of crazy. Probably was reading that fire scripture that came out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, read that again. Okay. This is Revelation 3 and 5. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. In white raiment. Susan, that scripture's talking about white, white raiment. Yeah, and they see them white birds going by. Yeah. That's, a, that's crazy, isn't it? All white, too. Right at the same time he read that. And I will not blot out the name of the book of life, but I will confess the name before my father and before his angels. All right. All right, keep going. He that hear, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said. Unto the church. So, ain't everybody got the ear though. Most of y'all got ears, but you can't hear. You know what I'm saying? You have to stick some sticks in your ears and clear them out. You know what I'm saying? Q2. Yeah, no, some knives. The goddamn spear. That cleared out for you. Some pencils, or yeah. Sword. Yeah. A screwdriver. Phillips had screwdriver. That cleared them out. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was crazy, wasn't it? And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things said he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David. The key of David? All right, just like uh, Peter. The Most High said he gave him the keys of the kingdom. And just like the Lord, uh, he, he also refers to us, to, uh, he, he refers to this temple right here. And we, we in a temple right here. This is a temple right here. This, the church is a temple. And then this is called the Tabernacle of David. That's right. It's right here. That's right. The Holy Hill of Zion. That's right. Jerusalem. Go ahead. He that openeth, and no man shutteth. And shutteth, and no man openeth. Uh, he, he said, the Lord openeth, and no man shutteth. So... So who are we to say if the Lord gives somebody the truth? He the one to open that door, not us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Go ahead. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Yeah, this is actually the door right here. You ready? There's another scripture that says you have to go through the door. Don't be climbing through the window like a thief. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a thief yeah. and a robber? Right, right. You gotta go through the door. This door's right here. <laughs> and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Yeah, so compared to the Lord, we ain't got no strength. Uh, for he said, without me, you can do, do nothing. Hmm. What's that, John 15? Uh, I've got a couple. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. The synagogue of Satan. Which say they are Jews. Yeah, today this applies to them, them, them uh, so-called Jews in the state of Israel. Rats. The rats. That applies to them, because they claim to be Jews, but they're not Jews. They're actually the children of Satan. They're Hebrew Edomites. Uh, yeah, go ahead. That's why nobody likes you Jews. Everybody on YouTube making videos talking shit about them so-called Jews. Everybody hates you motherfuckers, man. Everybody put the black man. Oh, yeah. She, ain't got no, she don't even know what's going on. <laughs> These bitches ain't got a clue what's going on. They, they ain't got a, they don't know what the fuck's going on. They, 
They, they have no clue about any kind of, they don't even know where Israel is on a map. They don't know, they can't find Ohio on a map, let alone Israel. You know what I'm saying? So, so these bitches is gone. They surely don't know nothing about politics. They just dumb as hell. They can't even understand basic concepts. You're just wasting your time talking to a woman. So go ahead. We say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. So they go, what does that mean to worship before our feet? They're going to bow down. They're going to lick the dust off our feet. All right, so these so-called Jews, they control the government, they control the, uh, the military, they control Hollywood. The so-called Jews run Hollywood. They, they, they control all the different news channels. They control the music industry. They control the news. They, can, they run in everything. They, they own all the banks. They print the money. Okay, but the scriptures say they're they going, uh, they going into slavery, pretty much. And they're going to they be brought low. They gon' they gon' be motherfucking brought low. Oh shit, that's what I'm funny is uh I'm actually playing this game right now. I'm playing this game right now where I'm actually uh, a slave and I go around just slaughtering like hey, uh, where's what game is that? Slave ships and everything. Is that that uh Assassin's Creed? Yeah, Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. And there's, there's another part of the game where you actually can play as a slave. You know what I mean? Free yourself to go around the, the whole West Indies <laughs> slaughtering motherfucking uh, That sounds like a fun game. Yeah. yeah you be running through trees and shit. The game graphics uh, look nice. You want some ninja shit too in there. You got a, a nice big machete sword. Just yeah. chopping each on the fuck up. They be hiding. They put a, you got, there's, it takes a scholar to make a video game. To make a video game is very complicated. And you gotta be a smart motherfucker to do that. Because usually the, 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 the director of a game is a scholar, okay? He's a polymath, he's probably a mathematician, probably an artist and a musician. Uh, he knows a lot about history. So a lot of them video games, there's a lot of truth in them. There's like, there's a lot of truth in that Metal Gear Solid game. You know? Like Hideo Kojima, he knows a lot of shit. He probably a part of some Freemason society or something. Yeah, you can see in that game how the shit's on. Yeah, that yeah. game looks historically accurate, man. Yeah, the shit's. So they, uh, they do their research on them games, man. It's yeah, very accurate, because around that time, uh, and the game takes place during the, uh, when the Spaniards had shit on lockdown. And it looks like he got a garment on, like with a... With a uh, You're talking about Assassin's Creed shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the nigga, yeah, he got a garment. Yeah, it looks like he got a hoodie on. Yeah, yeah. It's like he got a, um... Um... Strangers? Um... Which, the, uh... A girdle? The girdle, yeah. Oh, that's like your boy. Uh, the game is bad. It looks like it. It's two parts because you play you want, uh, one of the parts you play as uh, Edomite Dutch, dude. Oh, the Dutch, the Dutch Empire. Yeah, and uh, the other one, the other one you play as that, uh, that slave. And what, what's first of the you? Uh, oh, the Revelation. Oh, yeah, let's get back to that. I forgot what you were talking about. I think it was at 3 and 9. Oh yeah, we go 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's a message only to the elect. That ain't just for anyone. And that's, talk, and that's talking about something that's going to go down soon, too. Y'all okay. okay. going to get tried, man. Just like, just like the Supreme Court judge, what, Leon Panetta, he said that concentration camps are coming back and you're a fool to think otherwise. <laughs> I mean, that's what he said. I mean, not exactly what he said, but that's pretty much what he said. He saw He said that, too. Yep. Now hell no break loose. The scripture does say uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. And all hell breaking loose, we don't know what to do. And all hell breaking loose right now over there in Ukraine. You see what's happening in Ukraine? They over there battling the cops. Venezuela. Burn, burning this, yeah, Venezuela. That, that's gonna spread around the whole earth. There's gonna, gonna be revolutions and uh, race wars and all, all kind of chaos 
it's gonna spread like a plague. Why? That, and that, that, that's where they gonna, cause uh, that's when they gonna bring bring that motherfucking iron fist down. They gonna crush your motherfucker. They gonna start rolling out the tanks. They just gonna start shooting protesters. You know, they gonna start locking y'all up in camps. They're not gonna be able to feed you. There's gonna be no food to feed you with. So if there's no food, what you gonna eat? Yeah, there's a motherfucking like over a hundred people now dead on that Ukraine shit. So these people think- It's up a hundred now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah that's a lot. Right All you got right here. Over a hundred, that's just from the past couple of days. That's good news. They, they was killing cops in uh, Ukraine. People, they was killing cops. Uh, taking cops captive as yeah. hostages. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. Just talking about that when we was coming back. They don't have over there, and America's supposed to get the shit in this shit. The man's with the cops is going to get here. Well, people over here have guns. Hey, you already show what they already show what the cops here are uh, about. They ain't kill you. Yeah, well, but I'm talking about like doing Katrina. A lot of motherfuckers said, fuck this, I'm going oh, home. Let, oh, yeah. And when, it's, when this shit really hits the fans. Right, right, yeah. right. Oh, like right. on that movie, uh, um, uh, World World Z. When his, his woman was getting about to get raped, and the cop, you seen a cop dude, he thought he was good. The cop dude ran right past that shit. Yeah. Went, went for the Similac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cheese. Yeah, shit. Right, yeah, hell yeah. He was doing this, he was doing, you know, hey. Right. Yeah, the hey. cop gonna be stealing and looting right along with everybody else. Yeah, you people don't realize reality is a whole different story when you come to the right. world, man. That's why you're gonna see a lot of, like we said earlier, women be getting raped. A lot of these, like we said, dudes are gonna get raped by other dudes. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna be, yep. and people are gonna be cannibalism. Mass murder. It's gonna be sick and disgusting out here. Yep. Man. Mass murder. It's gonna be mass murder. Yep. Yep. Cause yep. this ain't gonna be like over there in Ukraine when they got a revolution popping, all the people are joining together. <laughs> ain't nobody gonna join forces over here when all hell breaks loose. It's gonna be America's got a lot of racial tension. Man, this place is divided it, like a mother. It's divided like crazy. Okay, ain't nobody. Half the people can't speak the same language. You got Chinese people, Hindus, Ethiopians. Oh yeah, Muslims. Okay. Muslims. Can't but, speak no English. The Muslims want to kill every goddamn buddy. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, they were, yeah. They in the right spirit. <laughs> 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 Hello, Wakba. Uh, no boy, it's up the fuck up. Oh, you got more than that rubber? Let's get the rest of that. Oh, I was going to get some of what y'all talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so this ain't gonna be, it's gonna, shit over here is gonna be crazy, man. Cause I don't even see how you could even uh, stage a successful revolution over here when everybody's, there's too much division, that never happens. It's just gonna be destroyed. Yeah, you know, niggas hate niggas. Right. <laughs> you know. And the scripture said, uh, a nation, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. So that's how we know America is on its way out. That's right. Totally divided. Ain't there ain't no saving it. Ain't, we don't want to save it. We pray that America gets destroyed, and it will get destroyed too. This is never. This is never. I don't lie. No. Ain't nothing here worth saving any damn way. Right. It's sad when you think about it because this was a once nice land, man. On the side of the river used to be clean. This is nice. It was a nice, beautiful thing we had. Yeah, Ohio was. Uh, this is uh, this is in, it's supposed to be Indian country right here. The Scioto River was the lifeline of, of Ohio. Yeah. Now look at the Scioto River. The goddamn toxic dump <laughs> <laughs> with shit flowing down it. Scioto, Allen, Allen Creek, Allen Creek, the it's Ohio like, River. Like, yeah. Go to the beach, man. I bet you come out with ringworm. Oh man. yeah, like uh, like on the Simpsons, so uh, they always throw that waste to the. And that fish come out with the three eyeballs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what kind of beach you gonna have in Ohio? <laughs> right. They got one, though. Yeah, I remember being at Allen Creek Beach as a kid, and it was turds floating. Uh, <laughs> it, shit, it shit was so dirty. <laughs> I don't remember really swimming that shit, man. I you know, can, as a kid, I used to do shit like that as a kid. Pissing the, pissing the water and shit. <laughs> oh, that's nasty, yeah. Oh, that's going to the swimming pool. Up, like, I don't get it. No swimming pool at all. I can hear that thing. You were scared as hell. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I used to, I used to, I remember when it was a dime. A dime, dad. You know, I'm a lot older. Like, yeah. <laughs> I remember a dime. When I was a kid when it was a dime. And then every time you go to the pool, somebody like, shit in. <laughs> they always, everybody just hurt. You see people just jumping, ah, get away. It's a floater. A float. Yeah, you know, it's, like, it's like that movie, uh, what's that movie? With Bill Murray, Caddyshack. Oh, that's my shit. <laughs> Through the candy bar in the water. Yeah. That's a badass movie. That's a classic, too. Yeah. This bitch working like she just got her ass blown out. She probably did. Bitch, she got fisted. They stick a bowling pin up her ass. It do look like that. That'd be some weird shit out here, man. Mm -hmm. This is OSU shoot campus. These college people are some foul ass people. They didn't know some weird shit, man. Ain't right. Because all these little girls, they get shipped off to college and they finally get their chance to be the biggest whore they ever wanted to be. And, that, and that, that's all they do is be a whore. They don't learn nothing. And that degree you get is a big joke. It's a big, everybody's saying it now too in the news. and Everybody's saying how worthless a college degree is. It means it's meaningless. Like a lot of computer programmers, I'll be listening to them. And they say that that, that college degree's a big joke. That don't mean shit. College ain't nothing but a state. It's all about making that money. Oh, yeah, everybody knows even Bill Gates dropped out of college. You know what I mean? What's so your boy, made, WikiLeaks? Uh, or, uh, uh, he, who? Uh, uh, one, of them dudes, one of them dudes didn't go to college or high school. You don't need it. Right. Look, man, if you... You can educate if, your own self. Yeah, if man. you really into something, you don't need somebody else to teach you. Yeah, you need somebody to teach you a little bit. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he got his GED. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you got the internet and you learn from people online. You don't gotta go to this raggly ass school. Why why should I go to a raggly ass school paying thousands of dollars when I can learn the same shit on the internet for free? And then some. And then some. <laughs> look, look, you learn from 20 year experts in the field. You know what I'm saying? But you gonna go pay these motherfuckers. And, and, and people always say that if the, the kids fresh out of college they got to retrain every last one of them. Yeah, because they don't remember all that shit. They don't, no, they don't even teach you what you need to know. It's all a big joke. It's a big joke. These colleges are a big joke. And all these, as soon as these kids graduate, they just graduate with a big ass debt. They got no, it, they graduate with a debt and no knowledge. No job to pay for And it. no it job to pay for it. There it is, you got a bachelor's degree the only thing you got for that, now you a manager at McDonald's. <laughs> Congratulations. And McDonald's is closing. The one on Cleveland Avenue closed down. Oh, yeah. Hey, that by McDonald's was getting business, too. Man, you moving up in the world. You a manager at McDonald's. You made it. You the man. Hey, you, yeah, that's the American dream. Yeah. Be a manager at McDonald's. You can, yeah, you that's can, the American dream you now. You can man. achieve. You can that's succeed. The, that's the American pie. That's the American pie, that McDonald's apple pie. <laughs> American apple pie. Hey, now you work. You can be a manager of Walmart. <laughs> yeah. hey, it's not so bad. Stocks and shelves in Walmart. And I know this too. It's like trying to go to a job and pulling applications. That's a waste of time. You better off uh, going to the temp services now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's wicked as hell. You're not in temp services. They, they getting a cut out of what money's supposed to go in your pocket. Woo! And then, and that's it, some wicked shit. Man. That's some evil shit, man. Yeah, that's crazy. It's just all it's all set up to rob your ass and keep you poor. It's all, every, everything in society is set up to make sure that the poor stay Damn. poor and the rich get richer. Yeah, that bitch has it. Right, right. Ain't none of y'all making it out the ghetto. And ain't nobody hitting it, they eating. That bitch is just getting her pussy ate by another bitch. What was you reading? What you had something to finish oh, up? Oh, boy, the rain was coming. All yeah, right. uh, it ruined I got it right here. Here we go. All right, let's stop again. Okay, uh, second house is nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I had told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. There's, there's record amount of earthquakes all over the planet. Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Hey, even from the beginning. What 
where you at? It was uh, 6 hours or something. Nine and nine. Two left, east main to Belton Lane. You go back to that revelation. Oh, yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. Okay, Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the world from my... Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all of the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold. Oh, that temptation too. Like when they start uh, microchipping people. Yeah, you will see a lot of people. That's an hour of temptation right there. Uh, most of these women, all the women, they're going to accept that chip. They're going to put a chip in their baby, too. You okay. used to being able to fry all kind of pork chops all, all day, every day. And your stomach right. start to growl in that time. Yeah. Yeah. Your tummy growling. And them little monster-ass kids is crying their asses off. They're going to uh -huh. say, gonna say, if you want to eat, you got to get this chip. That's right. That's right. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Yeah, no man take your crown. So, hey, hey, you know, you know the word. You know the word crown. It actually comes from the Hebrew word for a rod, which means horn. Which goes back to you know what the scripture say. Uh, uh, the Lord, uh, the Lord is our. Uh, He's our horn, he's our shield, our buckle. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. horn represents your power. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that crown represents our power. Like when the Lord said in uh, Ezra, he said he's going to put crowns on our heads, and he's going to give us power. Hmm. Uh, go ahead. Go Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple. Well, of the you know, the, I like the word uh, Quran is Hebrew. It means crown. Just where you get the word Corona. You know Corona? Corona That's yeah. Spanish for crown. Like you drink Corona. You drink Corona beer, you see on the crown, on, the crown yeah. on the beer. Because mm -hmm. that's a, actually the crown is a Hebrew word, Quran. It sounds sounds, sounds kind of like uh, Quran, like the Quran. That's probably where they probably stole that word too. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of the most of my power, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my power in the name of the city of my God which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name. Yeah, so the kingdom of heaven is going to be the New Jerusalem, okay? So that, that tell, America and the New Jerusalem cannot exist at the same time. It can't coexist. Now, this shit got to be destroyed. America. The, all, these, all these wicked kingdoms on the earth got to be destroyed. Y'all know God's going to destroy America, and all these adulterers and all these faggots are going to get destroyed with it. Go ahead. Uh, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the church and unto the angel of the most high of the church of the Ladishians uh, right. These things said the, said the Amen, the faithful, and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, which thou art neither cold nor hot, nor will thou work cold nor hot, so then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Oh yeah, so the Bible says that you're supposed to be Fuck. either cold or hot. You know what I mean? You, you're supposed to be on fire with the truth. Here, hold this. Oh, that piece of shit umbrella. So yeah, you're supposed to be on fire. Like, you got some people who claim they into the Bible, they don't want to go out in the streets and teach. You know what I'm saying? Because they that shit ain't gonna work. Motherfuckers too scared to come out here anyway. Yeah, they too scared to go out teaching. Or they think they ain't gotta teach. Or they wanna be uh be a have part time in the truth. You know what I'm saying? Claim like they they into the scriptures, but they still hanging out with two thirds, you know what I'm saying? Still committing adultery. Right. Cause if you in a, if you call yourself in the truth, you shouldn't be hanging out with none of these wicked ass people, man. I'm about to throw this in the fucking trash. Yeah, fuck that. That thing's worthless. You can't even use it. Oh, we can wrap it up in a minute anyway. That's true. I can't even fucking. We'll read the rest of this and we get up out of here. We've been out here for a couple hours. I can't even find the safe for the motherfucker. 
So then, because thou art lukewarm or neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Well, you got a lot of people that they, they'll call themselves in the truth. They still listen to that same ass, ignorant ass music they all they listened to before they's in the truth. Or they still want to hang out with the same ignorant ass people who be fucking you up, getting you in trouble, getting you arrested, acting like a fool. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't supposed to be doing that. It's amazing. People amaze me. How they think they can fool the most hot. You know, think they can pretend like they in the truth, but like you said, hanging out with these two third motherfuckers doing the same nigga shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had clown with people. Doing the same nigga shit, man. You know? Oh, go ahead. Okay, um, because thou sayest I am rich and increaseth with goods and have need of nothing and know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. That's why you got a lot of people on YouTube. They'll watch a lot of videos, but they just, when we give them the knowledge, they just sit on it. You, when you get a knowledge, you ain't just supposed to sit on it. Once you get it, you're supposed to teach it. You're supposed to spread the truth. I'll be feeling the teach. Right. You know? I'll be feeling looking for people to teach, man. The scriptures say, Y'all can get it real quick. It bothers me when I don't. You know? I got a scripture to back it up. And if I'm not teaching, I'm out. I'm studying. I'm at home studying. Right. You know? But it bothers me not being able to be out be able to teach somebody, you know, of the 12 tribes every day, you know? But unfortunately, you can't do that unless, you know, you're on the internet. Um, where am I at? I counsel thee to buy me of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes in eye slow, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door, and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, and will suck with him, and he with me. And suck with him, he ain't gonna give you, that's his, his suck with him. that food is his, his scripture. This is meat.